Hello guys, in this video I'm going to discuss attributes in C Sharp. Attributes allow us to assign metadata to given portions of code, for example, classes or methods. I'm sure that you have noticed that there are many places where they are used. For example, we, we may assign the serializable attribute to a given class to make sure that the common language runtime knows that this given class should be serializable. It is uh, often used in uh, ASP.NET Core, for example, to mark controllers or actions, for example, with HTTP GET, to make sure that the framework knows that this action sh should uh, respond to GET requests, and so on. So, in this lesson, I'm going to explain to you how to use custom attributes, how to build them, and how to, how to actually read them by using refle reflection in C Sharp. So this is the basic uh, definition of an attribute. It is called author attribute. It uh, derives from attribute class. It has an attribute called attribute usage where we specify where this attribute would be assigned. So it can be assigned both to class and a struct. It has a public constructor which uh, takes name string as an argument and assigns this value to a private property or private field rather. Let's try to use this author attribute. So I went back to the person.cs class and I have assigned the author attribute to the class person. I have used the string mat as an input, which is a, which is a string name input. And that's basically how we can use our custom attribute. Let's go back to the author attribute. I had to create another method which is public string get name it returns the value of the private field name and inside of the program.cs file i am using the reflection to read the attribute attributes assigned to a given type so attribute.get custom attributes and i am passing in as a as an argument type of person then i can use link to search inside of this attribute collection for any element of type outer attribute and I'm selecting single element which should be there. Then I can use the getName method to get, get access to the uh, underscore name variable and I can show this inside of the console window. Let's see how this works. And as you can see, the string mat was returned as we have expected. So this is the uh, logic behind any attribute that you are using daily, such as serializable or HTTP get and so on and so forth. And now you can define your own custom attribute and use them, read them and use them inside of your projects. I hope that this quick introduction was helpful to you and I hope to see you soon. This example was based on code from the official Microsoft Docs and documentation. So if you want to know any more, anything more about attributes, I highly recommend reading the Microsoft Docs documentation and all the articles about attributes that are stored there.